A legal tussle between Raila Odinga Zazimula Moja Coalition and William Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance is in the offing over the controversy of House leadership in the National Assembly. <laughs> Wipers Kalonzo Musioka, insisting Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula, deliberately ignored the law to please the political side that put him at the helm of the legislative arm of the government. <laughs> Uskubali manipulation. When in Dugiangu, Tulukula Tulukuta Tiaga Swamoja, Usisao Dugiako Manzako, and Babado Kukomadaki. We must stand for what is truthful and just. Kalonzo, maintaining the parties that inked an agreement with the Zemir coalition, are legally held by the political parties acting the coalition until a period of three months lapses. You remember today, Marende is a household name because what they used to say, Solomonic wisdom, so a, a ruling he made, which actually affected me as a leader of government business. But you had to abide. The Raper leader also instructing Azimio legislators to reject Ruto's cabinet nominees with integrity questions. And those committees of parliament, I want to talk to them now. We know the moment you have set up these committees, these candidates will come with big envelopes. They will come with big envelopes to bribe you. If you accept any of them, heaven will take after your case. Public nominee for public service and gender Aisha Jumwa is facing charges of murder in court, whilst the rape case against cabinet nominee for agriculture medical in Turi was withdrawn and will be settled outside the court. Kalonzo saying it was a case of too little, too late. Candidates clearly should be in jail. And then you bribe them, they bribe you and you give them those appointments. I like to think maybe President Ruto wanted to wash his hands of some of them. <laughs> if that happens, he will actually get credit himself. Give us in minor K24, Nairobi.